we can either trade with now or talk to Kitaro. Let's talk to Kitaro first. <laughs> well, I'm glad to hear it. All right, sit down. Get enough rest? You're looking pretty pale. Huh? Am I really? Yup. You wouldn't put, put it. You wouldn't put somebody who's got to look like that on the mound. Is that a baseball thing? <laughs> Second string though. Injuries are scary stuff, you know. Could be off the team in wor worse cases, so I'm grateful just to be kept as second string. And I grew up in an orphanage. Didn't have parents who knew sports or something. Okay. Just to talk about this already. So we know that Kana was adopted, right? We know that Sarah's dad isn't her real dad, so that would be like an adoption also. That'd be two. And then Kutaro is three? that we know about. Wasn't blessed with the coach neither. Effort and power alone got me the pro leagues to face the big players. You just gotta practice. Guess that notion made me punish my body. Just before the big moment, I went and wrecked this tough bottom of mine. So you pushed yourself too hard. You got it! That's why you shouldn't neither. Keep your health in check. Eat tasty and healthy. Sleep well. Exercise. I, I will. Well, you got parents to tell you that, so... You like your parents? Yes. Figured as much. There's a difference between lonely peeps and loved peeps. From Kai. I says the scent of a lonely person. Don't know nothing about the guy, but... Is somebody the same kind? I want to see his dying wish through. Kutaro. My bad. Wanted to make this a breather, but got too serious. Oh yeah, Sarah. You got any guys you like? Why is that all of a sudden? Gotta have at least one at school. That's just youth for you. We love Joe, but he died. I can't answer! In other words, there is a guy. Where'd he go, Sarah? <laughs> You're making the most of adolescence. I have things to do, so that'll be all. Turn and tail, huh? Well, that wraps up discussion. She just seemed pretty fail. Thrilled about that. Collect the smartphone. Can't let find, kind of find out about it. Okay. We're going to save over here. And then... No, 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 no. I'm stupid. Okay. No, no, no. No, no my God. Oh. There. Now we're going to deal with now. I need the tokens. Thank you very much, even for just talking to me. You want to trade that badly? Yes, I've hardly traded with anyone. I've got quite a lot left. I thought it was about time I started trading these. If it's okay with you, I want you to be the one I trade with. Um, what are the personal info risk? 30 tokens is a lot. Why with me? No, I mean, there's no one I could feel more safe with than you, Sarah. If it were so or Alice, I'm, it'd be a little scary. But Sarah, why? I wouldn't even be opposed if we traded our own clothes. I don't really know where that came from, but trust me that much. Please don't hold back. If you can't do it, just turn me down. That's so sweet. Now is absolutely a gorgeous human being, and I love her very much. It's kind of scary, but I can consider asking someone else. Sarah, will you trade? Of course. Understood. Let's trade now. Thank you very much. You're very kind, Sarah. Well, that's it for negotiations. It's about time I go collect the smartphone, con kind of sister life, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, we have 50 tokens of our own. We have 50 record tokens? Oh, she gave us some for that um, thing she was part of. So, we have 30. I think we have enough to buy recos. Hang on. Yeah, we have enough to buy Reco's information. Nowhere to be found, blah, blah, blah. What are you looking for? Could it be this phone? So, huh? What if I hit the bullseye? Is the phone? Well, yeah. What's your aim? What do you intend to do with the phone? What should I do indeed? Maybe I'll toss it. Or maybe I'll go show this cool message to Kana. Sure enough. As if, I wonder if your aim is Sarah. 
Think about it, would you? You think she could write that message while on death's door? I recall there was a time limit in the first trial, wasn't there? Would someone who didn't want to die give up so soon and leave a message? And one with line breaks and capitalization? There's only one answer here. This message was fabricated. It was you, wasn't it, Miss Sarah? Blah, 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 blah. I saw it all unfold. You said it on the bed. What are you saying? I'd keep it if I wanted to show it. Tana was behind me. You two were. You took extra, extra precautions so you wouldn't suspect it was fake. I'm sorry, this is all so stupid. I don't want to listen to them argue over stupid shit. Ever since the main game, I've been wondering. Since the main game? So, you didn't lose your memories. What was I doing? Certainly, I couldn't let myself be singled out if I wanted to get clear chips. Of course, I didn't expect to take you, Sarah, but hang on. Where was it? As long as I could find just one total sucker, that would be plenty. Yeah. I can't lay a hand on him. I don't know what so might do. Can't use violence carelessly. I would beat his ass. And I know, like, Sarah might be like, I don't know, he could overpower me. And that's how, like, video games work, you know? Hell no. That wouldn't be how this worked. I'm gonna tell you right now. That's not how it works. I would kick his ass. <laughs> but I'm also, like, an American ready for the, um... The school system <laughs> with gun violence and stuff like that. It's like, I'm prepared for more. <laughs> he got me again. How does he keep doing it? That's not true. Can I please go to the medical room yet? Night. Where did So go? I can't ignore him. Okay, fuck all that. <laughs> um. Yes. It doesn't matter. Searching, man game, I don't want to do that shit twice. Thank you. Okay, so I saved on the 54th, so I should be able to go back there. Okay. Hey, oh no. <laughs> Big sister, Sarah, you look pale meow. I'm fine. Okay. It's me, Sevelyn, I won't leave my post from now on. I see. Please trust me to care for your minds and body. See you, Mitch. Speaking of which, Miss Sarah, would you like to forget your about your home stations? Yes, it would be bad for them to harm your mind. Please consider it while you still recover. I can forget Joe. I'll ask you again. Will we use it? Yes. Alright, do it. Yes, don't worry. It's a very comforting device. Man, I had a good voice for her and I already walked. <laughs> Here we are, attach this to your head. Hey, is this really okay? You're attaching physical stuff to my body. It's alright! Most of your devices are for massaging your soul shoulders while we're at it. My shoulders aren't stiff though. Well then, here we go! Ah! Uh. Oof! Gah! Ugh! So, you do it once, and then Sarah's like, Oh my god, that's amazing! Does your mind feel refreshed? Huh? You're right. <laughs> what is this? It doesn't seem real that I was suffering. My mind feels so clear. Yeah. Forgot about Joe a little. That's terrible. It's dangerous to use twice, so we shouldn't use it anymore. It's not as if you're fully cured. Please be very wary of future hallucinations. See? It brings you back down to zero from wherever you were. But let's hang out with her more. A second time that is dangerous. I wouldn't recommend it. Do it anyway. Please, Evelyn, just one more time. Miss Sarah, understood. Let us trust that your mind is strong enough to endure it. Here we go. Ah. Uh, Log. Uh, oh my god. Are you alright? I've ah, never felt better, Sevelyn. Forgot about Joe a little. Oh, please don't be the last of it. If it's used too frequently, you can cause great harm to your brain. Thank you, Sevelyn. Uh, uh, Miss Sarah, you shouldn't come here so much. I wish at least let me explore. No, a third time is too dangerous. Please, Sevelyn, I'm sure. I'm sure just one more will be fine for me. No, I can't do any more. I'm begging you. Please, Sevelyn, I'm begging you. 
begging me, my Sarah. Perhaps you've already long since been ruined. <laughs> Very well. I'm afraid it will ruin your life, but if it will save you, Miss Sarah, let's just let us do it. Yeah. Well then, here we go. Hurry, hurry, stop it. And then when you see it, it's actual Joe. Good memories. Take it away. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a cheerful day. Suffle it one more, one more time. <laughs> That's no good, Miss Sarah. Why, I beg of you. Please, just do everything I tell you. And this device will be your reward. Isn't that nice? Got it, I'll do anything, Sasha. <laughs> yes, you'll devote your life to me, won't you? And I'll be sure to mi make your brain into mush. Thank you, Sasha. Thank you. Yeah. Bad ending! That's what happens if you do that. Um, what were we supposed to do? Main game. I really don't remember where we're supposed to go. Now. Uh, Sarah, Sarah, how are you using the tokens you've gotten? <sighs> Training them. Yeah, of course. We know nothing about the death game, so it's best I get more info. Should I buy a prize? I wonder. Oh, God. She's crazy. Wait. Am I supposed to do a task? Probably. Um, uh, Rune Corridor? did those already. There's nothing here. Oh fuck, man. The room of rubble. I just want to go through, you know what I mean, and touch stuff. Lobby monitor room? Sarah. Guitaro? Wait, Kutaro, we're not done talking. Great. The two went walking toward the lobby with an imposing air about them. Keiji? Let's just look around for a little bit. Do we have 50 of anybody's tokens? We are all that doesn't count. We have Reckles' personal information that we can buy, and yeah, that's it. Let's actually save just in case. Keiji and Kutaro are having a dispute. What's the meaning of this? Why? Talk to me, Kutaro. What is it, you two? Sarah. The laptop's been taken. I wouldn't have trusted the laptop with uh, Kutaro no matter what anyway. Sorry. What do you mean? Who took it? Kana. What? I handed it over to Kana. No charge on it, so I thought it'd be fine. You handed it over. So must be pulling the strings. Like always, every goddamn day, you know. Used Kana to have her strike some kind of deal with Kutaro. That's... You have to have noticed, Kutaro. You knew that. And you still accepted the deal. Will you give me a second here? Could you ever hand over Kai's dying gift to someone else? I see. S Sarah. <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm gonna search for Kana. I'll go too. She went toward the ruined corridor. I don't know what she got into your head, Kutaro. But it seems I've overestimated you. It's too bad. Yeah. Let's go, Sarah. Right. I agree with that. You're a piece of shit. There's no way to escape. Okay, I'm just making sure that she didn't have anything to say about Kitaro, because that would be really good. <sighs> or... Could you come over here and talk to us, Kana? 
Hi. There's nothing to talk about, is there? I don't know what that voice was. I don't approve of your flirting, KG. With her? This underage girl? I hope there's none. Jesus. So I knew it. Hey, Miss Sarah, on a date with KG? I don't think this place is all that exciting. I could say the same to you. <laughs> I guess so. A tingling electricity filled the air. I wish we could stab him. This is far from a friendly mood. Well, I'll get straight to the point. We want that laptop back. You heard him. What do you think, Ghana? Uh, I can't do that. And you heard her. Give it up, KG. I was the first one to find the laptop anyhow. Am I obligated to give it back to you? Um... You can't unlock it anyway. What do you intend to use it for? Who cares? What's yours is mine. What's yours is mine, and what's mine is mine. What an absurd way of thinking. Then again, those are the sorts of methods you use to scrape together trust. Are you afraid? Afraid of me seeing what's on this laptop? I'm very curious just what you could be hiding. If you're suspecting us, I think you're going to be disappointed. Then let's sit down and check that. Seeing as I did find a charger. What? Now, Kana, give me the laptop. Don't, Kana. Look me in the eye, Kana. So, you promised if Kana brought the laptop, you would give her that. That. She doesn't mean. Want me to go first, huh? You're surprisingly cautious, Kana. Yes, as promised, here's the phone. Mother. <laughs> Stop! What are you thinking so? I'll show you the truth. Stop, Connie. You can't take that. Your sister held this in her last moments. I hope something's left on it. Connie, don't look at it. Idiot. <laughs> Connie, trade the laptop for the boat. It's over. It's all over. Sister. You. I love you too, I love you. Kana. That's a completely unexpected reaction. Kana is crying. But there aren't tears of despair. Even though she read the message? Did so alter the message? Obviously. I've got the laptop. Got nothing left to say to you guys now, Miss Sarah. Hold on, you might not, but we sure do. Sheesh, you're stubborn, huh? Quit getting into quarrels. We're all in the same situation with collars around our necks. Or else maybe you don't have a collar. Huh? Because I've never seen your neck. <laughs> wow, you're suspecting me because of that? I've changed my mind. Let's do a trade. Trade. I'll return the laptop if you give me 50 of your tokens. You should surely have most of your tokens still, KG. You can't lie to me and say you don't have enough. Trade tokens. Just please, you know? There's a chance, KG. 50 tokens. 50 tokens it hurts, but you should accept it. Ah, oh, are you afraid of someone buying your personal info? Can you hang on a second? I'm trying to do with it here. Auto text. Okay. As long as it's still going. Don't get me wrong, if you gave 50 sec- 50 tokens to Miss Sarah, that'd do too. Huh? What's the matter? With someone as trustworthy as Miss Sarah, even 50 tokens should be- <sighs> Sorry. Have to yawn. Why are you hesitating? There's no reason to hesitate, KG. KG. Why are you talking? <laughs> ah! Well, now I guess that was me and KG. I didn't intend to tease you. Here's my apology. Can you see it? It's 
we already know that it's not all the way around his neck, so it's not there. Go ahead and get a good look. Sure enough, it's the same collar. Now you accept it. This trade is over. Have a nice date. Okay, G. He wouldn't even move. He wouldn't give me his tokens. Whatever. There's so many easy ways to handle this, you know. You put it in my open palm, right? I don't move my palm. You can take them right back. You know what I mean? Even if I move my palm, you're a man. You can overpower me with these big-ass arms of yours, you know? And I'm not trying to say that women can be easily overpowered. I'm saying that my arms, my physical arms in front of me right now can be overpowered easily. <laughs> I'm not bothered. So you don't trust me. No, I mean, it's okay, really. Wait, Sarah. No, 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 it's great. I got myself away from there. I understand this. We're all strangers who just met here. Even, even I haven't entrusted my whole mind to KG. So it's selfish to feel shocked. Very sweet. I need to be strong. Hmm. Is it exhaustion? I didn't realize I fell asleep. My pillow is wet. While I was sleeping, I my tears won't dry up, huh? Let's do attractions. I managed to rest, however, briefly. It's strange. Crying yourself to sleep lets you forget things. They're green the energy the energy to stand up. Need to continue with directions. Kitaro was hanging his head still. Yeah, she doesn't have anything interesting to say. Um By Reco's personal information, right? Well, then here's your prize. Use this startup device in the monitor room to view personal information. Thank you! That helps. Okay. I'm an AI, right? Is it okay if I ask you things? Hell yeah! Ask away! Um, super cool. 23 year old singer songwriter, something like that. I've liked music since I was a kid. Classical, folk, heavy metal, I've listened to all of it. I think around grade school, I found myself starting to compose and write lyrics. My instinct moved towards my body. It was a fun time. People praised me. My parents were just plain happy. Once they started calling me a gifted kid, then there were. Then there started being more noise. Old bastards in the music industry wanting money, my pops craving the limelight. Before I knew it, I was making music that my heart was in. In middle school, I rebelled. I was a rocker. I made tons of songs nobody even wanted. But even then, noise swarmed around me. Man, even my spirit had to give in. High school on, all the spice was gone. Didn't even have anger. My activity dried up. I had tons of chances to be famous, but I smashed them all. I was totally just the industry's problem child. Everybody kept a distance from me. Once I couldn't even gather members. Borrowed Alice to make a band. Ha ha ha. Then two of a half years ago, he caused that incident. Well, at any rate, I am who I am now because of that shitty past. Learn something from that, Sarah? What are your measurements? Nora's gonna tell you that, right? So she won't answer just anything. Even her AI can be kind of troublesome. That's not that troublesome. 
family will, uh, I like my mom, though she's a little weird. She's affectionate. I cause her lots of trouble. Yeah, I gotta show my appreciation more. My old man, well, he's a good guy, but let's not, let's say he gives in to temptation. He's not much, most true to his conviction, convictions. I hate him for the longest time, but he's woken up now and gone back to his plain and simple personality. After the Mizelles, huh? He's, what should I say? Why did he do something like that? After a while, I... A while after he got arrested, I left music. Ah, I just remembered. The time they wrote in my diary, which is rare. I wrote the music. The thing I'd poured my soul into all this time suddenly felt like a cold series of notes. This inorganic thing. I wondered was this how music sounded to people who didn't care about it. I always thought I didn't care about my brother, but I never listened to him, but truth is, maybe I was a little jealous of my normal brother and acted that way out of spite. You should never murder somebody. Aww. We did relatives, right? Yeah. Why do I gotta go through this shit? Do we have anything in common? I haven't got a clue. Something in common. <sighs> Believe it or not, I think family's important, right? I wanna show appreciation to my parents, but like right now, the original me is being put through the death game, yeah? If she dies, she can't do anything. So when you think of it like that, what's important is my own life, and it ain't it? What about your instruments? Instruments? When I first met Reko, I heard she treasured her bongos. Bongos? Well, sure, I, I'm playing bongos in my new band, but... Bongos don't seem to be ringing a bell for this AI Reko. I need to clean up so no one else sees. I should be good. Scared. I really don't want to be doing the other one. Oh, flash water. I can do that. Kana, is she... She makes it normal now. Normal. And normal. But we like it. So let's do this. <laughs> wow, bugs me out. Brr, I'll do my best. Woof. do my best, honey. You know. God damn it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's really hard. <laughs> For once, I'm doing better than I used to do, you know? <laughs> Am I done? for it this time. <sighs> 20 tokens if you listen to its request, which is amazing. 
We're gonna do both. Let's do KG's first. Come on, sit down and get some coffee. No, I'm fine. Right then. Kinda awkward, huh? KG, he doesn't want me knowing his personal info. I'm sure of it. KG has secrets he hasn't told anyone. Trust, huh? What'd you have to do to earn it, eh? Don't keep secrets and always speak the truth, right? Hmm. Sounds tough. For people who don't do guilty things, it should be easy. Could you be mad at me, sir? Don't mess up the cute face. I want to trust you, KG. I don't want to distrust anyone. Because we're allies. Allies. But KG, you never show what you're really thinking. What in the world are you hiding? Please tell me. <sighs> oh boy! <laughs> Hurts to see you make that face, Sarah. Sarah, do you remember our talk in the blue room on the first floor? Blue room. What are you referring to? How I said I shot a person. Oh, the blue room is the one with the gun in it where he was convincing people like, I don't want to, you know what I mean? I don't want to shoot people. I don't want to do this game. They're traumatic memories. Things that I want to tell others about if I can help it. The person I shot was a criminal and died. And that person was someone precious to me. You were acquainted with him? I'm a killer. Not even permitted to be judged by the law. A true piece of shit burdened with my sin for life. KG? Good. Good. Well, that's the kind of guy I am. <laughs> Sarah, your friendly policeman. Can't even trust himself. We knew that, though, from the first... Like, before the first main game, right? Not ever since that day. KG. Sure ran my mouth there. Truth is, maybe you're better off not trusting me after all, huh? KG! God damn it. Okay. Big Sister. What is it, game? Big Sister now was at the private stage, meow. She seemed really pale, meow. I'm worried, wolf. Thanks, meow. Oh my god, he's just the cutest little baby. What we're gonna do is completely ignore him. <laughs> I'm just kidding. What we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this button, and we're gonna be here, and we're gonna hang out with Gein instead. <laughs> Thanks, meow. So, god damn it. What happened? Um. While I've been doing attractions and exploring, the Mewchan cushion I've always- I'm always holding has gotten dirty, Meow. They're my partner, Wolf. Oh, damn it. They're my partner, Meow. I want you to help, Wolf. Partner, huh? They do tend to match expressions. It's good to treat your belongings with care. I want to help, but is Mewchan a material that's safe to wash? It's okay, Meow. They're made really well, so you can wash them again and again and they won't get ragged, Wolf. That's one secret. But there's no washing machine around. Hand washing would also take water and detergent. Um. Shall I wash the cushion? <laughs> Meow! Melon soda lady, where do you even come from, Wolf? Oh, I'm sorry! Um. I just so happen to have a detergent in the medical office I use when creating medicine. That sounds sketch. I'm not handing Mewch. Mew over to you guys, Wolf. Go off and drink your melon soda, meow. Yes, sir. Why are you saying this all of a sudden, Sophalyn? Oh, well, all of you are per important participants, so I'm told to give you the most hospitality I can. Who tells you that? The floor master. Is Ranger really saying that? Probably not. Of course, I wouldn't imagine being cute. I will... Cruel, I will return Master Mew Chen in the state. I've had my fill of lies from that loner meow. Beat it, monk the murderous melons. Okay, I'm gonna have to reread re 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 that because that was too funny for me. I've had my fill of lies from that loner meow. Beat it, murderous melon soda. Woof. Mm. 
Waking. Sopolin, do you vow to absolutely keep that promise? Yes! I vow to make Master Mew clean with no dissatisfaction to gain. I see. Ixis Sarah, are you seriously thinking of handing Mew Chen over to her meow? Somehow, like, we cleaned you up and got her to care for you, and that was okay. Yeah, why not have her do it? Well, then I will quickly make him clean, yes? If you say so, Big Sis Sarah, I'll believe Meow. Please, woof! Don't do anything mean, Meow. Oh my god! Yes, I'll be right back. That is so sweet. I love being so much. I might cry. Okay, this is just really... <laughs> It's dumb, isn't it? It's really dumb, probably, but he's... Like, I get attached to things, like physical objects, like my pillow, and, um, like my blanket. Like, I get really happy when it's around me, you know what I mean? And I can kind of understand why he's so happy for it to be taken care of. Yay! They're super clean now! Yeah. It's true, even the stains that look like drool are gone. Those weren't there to start with! Oh. Thank goodness, Master Mew Chan is truly sturdy! It's great, huh, Mew Chan? <laughs> Somehow I feel like Mew Chan is happy. Hmm. Melon Soda Lady Wolf! You did it, Meow! Thank you! If you just quit the death game, I might even be your friend, Wolf. I think you may be mistaken. Oh no. Why did she do this? Like I'm crying and she's just... I'm only showing hospitality because you are all participants. It's for your own good. That you don't assume we can understand each other. If we're done here, I'll be leaving. Bitch. What the heck, meow? She ticks me off, meow. Well, it's all good. Mewchan got cleaned. Woof! Thanks to you, Big Sis Sarah. <laughs> Here's your 20 po tokens as promised, Meow. Oh, we could buy... We could have. I don't know if we still can, but we could have bought his, um... Personal info. Let's not. Sorry, Gene. I can't accept tokens for something like this. Besides, it's Sophilin who did the washing. Meow. Then, um... I at least want you to know my gratitude, meow. Gein pressed the Mew Chan cushion against my cheek. Is this a peck on the cheek from Mew Chan? Yeah, meow. A sign of Mew Chan's thanks, meow. Woof? Was it woof? I'm sorry. It was woof. You won't do it yourself, Gein. Meow! I wouldn't do that, woof. <laughs> Too bad. Don't tease me, meow. That's it for discussions. I I don't know if you can buy everybody's. I just I love Gein. I don't want to do it. Fix a Sarah. <sighs> what is it, Gein? Fix this now is at the prize exchange. Meow. She seemed really pale. Meow. I'm worried. Wolf. Got it. I'll go take a look. Thanks. Meow. All right. We are done for now. Right. Right. Now. Ha <laughs> ha.